we have my darker reds, my pinky reds and my bright reds um, to do a comparison, see if I have any dupes, maybe do a de-stash, I'm not very good at de-stashing, um, so you may well see absolutely nothing going out of my collection, um, that's probably just the way it's going to be. Um, I have got about 650-ish polishes and I will be getting rid of some of them um, but I do like my reds and I do use them quite often so I probably won't be getting any, rid of any of these. So what I will do is I will compare um, doing a swatch on the swatch wheel and see how close they are um, and we'll see how it goes from there. So here we have Chanel Lacquer Rouge. This is my all-time favourite deeper red. Um, this one will be going absolutely nowhere. So next up we've got OPI Malaga Wine. This is a classic OPI, one that I didn't have for a long time. I believe this one was a gift. And the next one is OPI's Got the Blues for Red and this is another of my all-time favourite reds. Um, now in the bottle it looks quite close to Malaga Wine. Malaga Wine's just ever so slightly more purple, not really showing up so well on camera here and Got the Blues for Red is slightly deeper red in the bottle. And then we have We the Female from the Washington collection. It has separated ever so slightly at the bottom, even though I've given it a shake. Um, and this is a slightly more brownish red in the bottle, at least, and as I remember it on the nail as well. So this is We the Female. And I think this one is going to be quite a bit darker and more purple leaning than the others so far. And this is Berries and Cream by Rimmel. Moving on to the more pink reds, we now have this mini Essie, which is Jump in my jumpsuit. And again, another pinkish red. We've got Sally Hansen Insta Dry racy rouge and the last of my pinkish reds is Barry M pomegranate and if I remember rightly this one looks a lot more red on the nail than it does pink in the bottle and lastly we have my brighter reds I have had a lot of other bright reds in the past that have not been opaque even with four coats so they've already been de-stashed quite similar to that in the bottle I only have the mini size one is OPI's Big Apple Red so here we are back with two coats of everything and top coated There are some that look quite similar, um, but quite a lot of difference in others that I wasn't expecting. So let's have a look at them each individually. Here we have Chanel's Lacquer Rouge, which is my favourite all-time red. So next up um, is OPI's Malaga Wine. And although very similar to the Chanel, this was a gift, so I won't be de-stashing it. But also, I know that I will eventually use up my reds, because um, I do like wearing them. Um, so they won't be wasted, and I will eventually use them, and I won't be buying any more. One of my other favourite reds um, is this OPI Got the Blues for Red. And again, it is quite similar but for the same reasons um, that I will eventually use up all my reds. This won't be going anywhere. I do like this one, it's a very good formula on it. 
In fact, all of these are good formulas, which makes it even harder to get rid of anything. Um, so this is OPI's Got the Blues for Red. Very similar to Malaga wine, very similar to the Chanel, although perhaps slightly darker, both of them than the Chanel is. So the next one is OPI's We the Female. Uh, it's one of the few OPI's that I bought just as it came out and probably paid nearly full price for this one. I've worn it once, I think. Um, I liked it at the time, but actually I don't think it's the sort of colour that I reach for. It's that slightly browner red which doesn't look quite so nice on my skin tone. Um, so this one might actually get de-stashed. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and I will wear it one more time before I make a final decision. So that's OPI's We The Female. This is Rimmel's Berries and Cream. Um, slightly darker than the others. Um, and slightly more purple, although the camera's not really picking up that purple tinge to it. But I do like the shade, and so for the moment it's going to be staying. This is Essie's Jump in My Jumpsuit. Um, I was really surprised at how good the formula is on this one, actually. It is quite similar to the Chanel possibly similar than Malaga wine and got the blues for red are um, but it is a good formula I probably will use it um, even if I only use it in water marbling because that uses up quite a lot of polish I do like to keep a few polishes specifically for that purpose and I think this one would be good for that if nothing else but it is a lovely colour and a really good formula this one went on really nice and smoothly, um, almost a one coater, not far off. So that was Essie's Jump in My Jumpsuit. That one's not going anywhere. You can see I'm not very good at this, can't you? Next up, we've got Sally Hansen Insta Dry's Racy Rouge. A little bit more pink in this one. It's really bordering between pink and red. And this one was a gift from Claire, so this one will be staying in my collection. Then we have Barry M's Pomegranate. I have had this polish for quite some time. Um, I do like it very much. Again, it suits my skin tone and it's got a good formula. Um, it's a slightly bluer pink than the Sally Hansen Insta Dry next to it. So I think this one for now at least will be staying in my collection. Then we have the bright reds, OPI's having a big head day. And this is a brilliant formula, almost opaque in one coat, although I have done two here. I don't wear the bright reds very often, um, but it is nice to have a really good bright red with a good formula in my collection. So this one is definitely staying, but OPI's Big Apple Red is quite similar. Um, it's kind of also quite similar, though a little bit brighter than the Chanel. So this one I will be giving away to a friend. So here we have it. My darker reds and bright reds and pinky reds more of a comparison than a D stash. Maybe I might get a bit better at this D stash business when it's colours that I'm not quite so keen on. But I do love my reds. I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, I will be doing more of these types of videos. So I hope you enjoy those and I will see you in the next one.